Erdogan will lead the country for another term after two decades in power already. Dignitaries from around the world congratulated the president overnight on his victory. Turkey's Supreme Election Council confirmed the victory, stating Erdogan secured the 52.14% of the votes that are required. I would like to thank all our citizens who showed their will for the future, both for themselves and their children, by casting their votes in the election. And Sky's Alex Crawford has more from the streets of Istanbul. This is an historic vote for a number of reasons. Not least because it's the first time that Turkey has had a runoff. It's the first time that Turkey has had a gone to the second uh, the second round, and obviously this was the toughest challenge that President Erdogan has ever faced in his career. He's been in power. Hi there. Do, do you speak English? English, no. Oh, anyone English? Come on. Sir, sir. Okay, tell me, what do you make of the result? It's, it's difficult because we're also being moved on by the police, but there is clear abject joy in this area anyway about the result. President Erdogan was very close in the first round, but in reality, in reality, in reality, he's getting a lot of his votes from very religious people, conservative people like the lady who's just walked past us, because he appealed to the right wing and the religious vote. In his celebration speech just now, he pointed out, and he has done regular times during the campaign, about how he felt the Western media in particular was, um, was very biased against him, how they were tilting things against him, how they were basically egging on the electorate to vote against him. In reality, the cast was very much set here. The die was very much set here in Turkey. Erdogan, over the past two decades, has basically cracked down massively on dissent. He's jailed journalists and any opposition politicians who've really become very dangerous to his position. And even the international monitors from the first round indicated that although the day's voting in the first round appeared to be free and fair, the scales were so badly and excessively tilted against the opposition by uh, Erdogan and his parties, the AK party's dominance of the media. He basically controls or influences most media outlets. Uh, for instance, a, a short survey in the lead-up to the first round showed that he got 80% more airtime than his rival, Kemal Kilec Darolu, but the scales were very much tilted in his fa favour. We spoke to him in that first round, and we found a man who was very definitely not at all worried about securing this third victory.